congratulations. We get to talk about a Christmas movie. Yes. Christmas so, with you on Netflix. <laughs> that's right. Right. So at that point I had to wear red. <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> Trying to get in the spirit. So talk to me about this movie because it's like a double celebration, which for me it's a little different because you have a quinceañera also combined. Yes, yes. I, I think that I think that was a hook and that's interesting. It's, it's about a girl and she says I'm a quinceañera baby because her birthday is on Christmas. So you know, you have the two things in the movie kind of as a thriller, although it's a comedy coming up and you wonder what's going to happen in Christmas and in her quinceanera. And then as a bonus, you have snow. Lots of snow. <laughs> <laughs> How challenging was it? It was very challenging. That's why I'm laughing because I learned so much about how to make fake snow. You have blankets that look like snow. You have a machine that is like a track that throws snow. And then there's the visual effect of snow. Sometimes you can't put a blanket or sometimes you have to do a combination of the three things to get the best snow possible. So snow is actually another part of the part of directing for you. Yes, it was had to be on the schedule. We had like four snow meetings. Really? Four? Yes, really. <laughs> to discuss in every scene that there's no, what is the best way to do it? One of the other things, obviously, what we we cover, it's multicultural because we're talking Christmas, we're talking quinceañera, but what was it like for you um, to incorporate also the culture part? I mean, here we have, you know, making tamales. Um, um, my family, I'm Mexican, but we don't make tamales. We missed that memo. But with the film, I got to learn a little bit about portions. Yeah, yeah. We we had a tamale scene. We call it the tamale scene. And we always say it's like that movie Ghosts, where the two of them are making the clay, but with tamales. So it's a very sensual scene. And they're talking about tamales, but it's about the look and about folding the tamales, you know, and doing the masa. And then there's even a line that says, too much masa is a mess. Um, so it's, it's quite an art to make tamales. And you incorporate the drama because we like the drama, telenovelas. Yeah, it's a very romantic movie. So what were some of the scenes that were challenging for you? Maybe the outdoors, you had a couple with snow um, or the ones where you have a lot of like choreography. Um, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, the choreographer was amazing. I mean, Jessica Castro, and she's, you know, we tried to have as many Latinos behind the cameras as well. And she's done Maria Carey, J. Lo, she's amazing. So it was a lot of practice uh, for the lead, Amy Garcia, to get those dancing scenes. And then Deja, the little girl, had to practice the waltz with Freddie Prince Jr., you know, for her quinceanera. So all of the actors had to learn uh, a way to dance and there was a lot of rehearsal before shooting the movie I love it I actually kind of teared up when I saw the vals and who the chambelan is because I mean that was pretty touching it was so perfect I did not anticipate that yeah yeah we had to do a lot of uh, research to be authentic with the quinceanera party mm -hmm. now let's talk about the cast you mentioned Freddie um um, yeah, how Freddy did he come amazing. on board on this one? Well, we cast him and, you know, we made an offer, but I had met him years ago when he was doing the sitcom Freddie and it, it, it's, it's becoming this viral you know, news now, the comeback of Freddie Prince Jr. because a lot of people love him and, you know, had a crash on him and now he's coming back. So everybody's <laughs> waiting for, for our Christmas with you movie to see him in a romantic part again. And let's talk about Amy and uh, the young the young gal. Can you talk about them also yeah. getting casted? Amy is amazing because she's an actress. She's not a singer. And then she had to learn the songs in like four days and record them over and over. She had to do, you know, eight hours of rehearsals uh, because she plays a pop star a day. 
and she's just she's she carries the movie you know she has that charm uh like a Sandra Bullock Latina Sandra Bullock I want to say and um she can do drama and she can do comedy and she's very special mm -hmm. and what about casting the right quinceanera oh so Deja um we did I saw probably like 200 castings I, I'm not kidding of young girls uh, Latina young girls and to me it was very important because I knew whoever I picked for this role I was still going to change their life because all of a sudden you're like a young woman and you get cast on a lead as a Netflix movie so she she earned it we did a lot a lot a lot of casting and then we got to a shorter and shorter list and uh, we did callbacks with her, you know, like three, four castings with her. And then we knew she was the one, Deja Cruz. Yeah, Deja was really good. Um, now, one character that I was really entertained by was the assistant. Oh, because <laughs> she's PP. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Can you talk about yeah. her? Sensi Williams, well, we, Sensi Williams plays the best friend of Amy. And she's kind of like the character is kind of the comedic relief, you know, sassy manager. And also we did a lot of castings and then we pick her. And the good thing about Netflix is they gave us a lot of possibility to have a lot of diverse actors in this movie. And Netflix is pro diversity. So that was fantastic that they let us pick uh, all these actors that we really, really like that happen to be, you know, mm -hmm. uh, diverse. Now, one of the things that I really liked how you taught the film touch was the, the this issue. And I'm going to say issues because it's causing a lot of conflict among people, those the feeling having to about being irrelevant. Um, so especially with social media, how did you how did you guide yourself to covering that, that topic in the film? Um, yeah, the the thing is is that the movie I should say what the movie is about for people who haven't seen it. So the movie is about this pop star who is the the recording studio is telling them to do a a Christmas song and she's not into it, and then she sees in social media. Uh, one of her fans who says her Christmas is her birthday is in Christmas and her Christmas wish and birthday wish will be to meet her, you know, biggest fan, Angelina, played by Amy Garcia. So Amy Garcia goes to see her friend. And I've seen that it happens, you know, that sometimes big stars like The Rock or other big stars have seen these stories that they want to please their fans especially people that really follow them and they give them a present or go take a photo with them. So we wanted to use this social media element in the story and it's what drives the story because she goes to meet this young girl and then Freddie Prince Jr. happened to be the father and then they fall in love. <laughs> so what's one of the things you hope that people take away from watching this film? That family is important that love is important, that you have to open your heart and follow your dreams. So all those are very important messages. And the importance of sitting at the dinner table. I like that scene. Yes, yes, because, you know, we Latinos, food and Christmas and family are all very important. But I'm hoping that the movie transcend and like people in Germany or Korea feel the same way. And this movie is international. Mm -hmm. For sure. Now, um, if it's okay to finalize, talk a little bit about any future projects. I've seen some of your projects myself. Um, como cortara tu patan. I mean, I love Mariana. I love that comedy. So what do you have in store to come? The next movie I have that is coming up is a movie I did for Sony in Mexico, like that one. Uh, with Sebastián Zurita, who plays the Patan in that movie. He's the leader of my next movie. And that movie is coming out on Amazon in, I, I hope, March. The title, do you? 
Volver, volver for now. Okay, okay. Um, is it um something related to some sort of alcohol? Yes, it's, it, it used to be called tequila reposado. Okay. It's mm -hmm. about this guy who has a really bad day, loses his wife, loses his job, and goes to this cantina and has this magical tequila that makes him go back in time so he can fix that bad day and then sees his multiple self about to make the same mistake and has to stop himself. So it has a lot of visual effects and it's a very funny comedy, but also very spiritual comedy about living in the moment. I love the cast that I saw. Ludwika Paleta, Miguel Rodarte, Sebastián Santa, Adal Ramones, like I haven't seen him in years on screen. So I'm excited for yeah. that. Thank you, thank you, me too. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And hopefully we get to talk for that film when it comes out too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. And I hope people uh, watch Christmas with you on November 17 on Netflix. Thank you. Felicidades. Gracias. Adios.